Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kelsey. At the time of this video, I'm about 31 weeks pregnant. We're going to quickly review opening a closed guard and then go into getting out of a lockdown and passing half guard. If you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or questions, please leave a comment below. I would really appreciate it. We reviewed a couple guard openings. This first one, you take both hands, grab the lapels, and frame into the armpits. From there, you're going to stand up. Either foot can come forward first and the other foot stays behind. You need to have the staggered stance in order to make sure that you have a good base. For the second one, you're going two on one. So you're grabbing the same side sleeve, your other hand grabs over their hand, and you're framing into their core. To stand up, the foot on the same side as the arm that you're blocking is going to step forward, and then you're going to stand all the way up. She was being really nice about opening her guard, but normally people will hold on to it. So you really need to stand up, sink your hips in, and then you can push the other leg open. Elbow needs to stay close to your core. Now we're moving into escaping the lockdown and passing the half guard. In a half guard position, one leg is out, one leg is in. In the lockdown, they're holding onto your leg and then wrapping one of their legs under yours. This can make it pretty difficult for the person on top to move unless you address the lockdown first. What they'll do is they'll stretch you out and a lot of times the person on top will try to stabilize and get a good cross face and underhook but when you're being stretched out you can start to feel off balance your hips will be able to move around a bit and that will give them some space to be able to escape the bottom position. So what I like to do is come down by the hips. I grab around their waist, keep my elbows really tight close to their hips and my head down. Keeping your upper body tight to their hips, you're bringing your heel really close to your butt and swimming it out. This frees your ankle and now you can start sliding up into a better cross face and underhook. From here, you're gonna stabilize on top. You got a good cross face, make sure you have the underhook and now you can switch your hips. So I switch my hips to my left side so that I'm able to start freeing my knee. When you switch your hips, make sure you keep pressure into that cross face. You can use that underhook arm to push their knee and start getting your knee out. From there, take your foot and walk heel toe, heel toe so that your foot is really close to their butt. Then take your knee to the mat. From here, you have the cross face, you can you can get your underhook again, bring your hips up, and peel your foot out. There should be a lot of forward pressure the entire time. Just building off of this. Same lockdown? Yes, please. Good. So again, we're in the lockdown position. We're trying really hard to stay heavy on top, but they're stretching us out, which makes it difficult to keep the pressure forward. Not only would they be trying to stretch us out, but they'd also be moving side to side, trying to open up some space. So again, we're going to come down to their hips keeping our head low and our elbows tight. From here, circle your foot out, and now they don't have the lockdown anymore. Start climbing up to get control of the upper body with a good cross face and an underhook. This will kind of turn into a preference thing where you can go cross face and underhook, or you can go double under their arms. I do like to go cross face, underhook, staying heavy, making sure there's a lot of pressure into that cross face, trying to turn their head away from me. A good cross face should almost feel like a choke. If they are really high up on your leg trying to keep that half guard, use your hand to push their leg off of yours and free your knee. Go heel toe, heel toe, bringing your foot really close to their hips. Now turning and bringing your knee to the mat. We're going to Make sure we're keeping pressure forward, lifting our hips up, bringing our hook in, and peeling our foot out. Another option we have from here, starting from the same position, you still need to get your knee out, walk your foot up, and try to get your knee to the mat. As you come up, you're going to go for that underhook. You can take your cross face arm out and go for the underhook on the other side. So you'll have a double underhook here. Now you're under both of their arms. They don't have very strong frames. Take your head to the other side, lift your hips up, and slide your knee to the same side as your head. Slide your hips all the way through. You can use your outside leg to help you peel that foot out if they're really holding onto your ankle as well. So again, they have the lockdown. You're feeling off balance on top, so you come down to their hips. Trying to immobilize their hips so that you're not off balance and they don't have space to recover their guard. Undo the lockdown and start climbing up their core to get a good cross face and underhook. Turn your hips and make sure you're keeping pressure forward. You don't want to fall backwards and let them come on top. Push their leg down to free your knee. Now with the double unders, 
you can do both the peel to mount or you can switch over to the cross knee pass. When finishing the cross knee pass, make sure you walk your hips back before you square up to the mat. This way their hips are facing away from you and they can't recover their guard.